Welcome to Alma CNFOTOVOLTOICO.com Subscribe to our channel or a whole family of seagulls will nest to your solar panels and will not produce for 6 months. Today we present the solution for Wi-Fi connection problems that may exist in our Huawei inverters. They can be caused by a change of Wi-Fi network, by a change of telephone company, by a modification of our Wi-Fi password or any connection complication. For this we will need a mobile device, either Android or iOS, in addition to having our Fusion Solar application installed in its latest version. One, we access the Fusion Solar web application. Two, click on the window button in the upper right corner of the screen and click on WLAN settings. Three, we choose the device we want to modify, its Wi-Fi network, which in this case will be FW products as it is an inverter. Four, in this step we have two ways to follow. A. Scan the QR code, which we can see on the identification label on the inverter itself on the right side. B. Manual connection, in which we will have to connect our mobile device to the inverter's Wi-Fi. Via A. Click on the connect option. The camera will open to scan the barcode of our Huawei inverter. The QR code is located on the sticker on the right side of the inverter. Once scanned, the cell phone will connect to the Wi-Fi network of our inverter. In this step we must enter the user password provided by our installer. In case it has not been enabled, we must set our own user password. Once it has been set or entered, as the case may be, we observe that the router connection settings option opens. In this step we must click on WLAN which displays a list of the available Wi-Fi networks near our inverter. We click on the Wi-Fi network to which we want to connect our inverter. We must be careful as only 2 to 4 GHz Wi-Fi networks are supported. Click on the second password window, enter the password of the previously selected Wi-Fi network and click on connect. We confirm and wait for the configuration process to complete. Click confirm and we will see how the connection between the inverter and the router changes to green. Physically we can observe on the inverter that the WLAN net will change to flashing green for short intervals, on for 0.2 seconds and off for 0.2 seconds. By B. We click on manual WLAN connection and configure the current LAN of our mobile device. We choose the device we want to modify, its Wi-Fi network, which in this case will be FW products as it is an inverter. As you can see we must connect to the WLAN network of the inverter which will start with SANMIL. Click on configure and activate our Wi-Fi and look for the SANMIL network. Click on it and wait for it to connect. If it asks for a password it will be ChinME, ChanME. We go back and click connect. In this step we must enter the user password that our installer has given us. In the case that it has not been enabled, we must establish our own user password. Once established or entered, as the case may be, we observe that the router connection settings option opens. In this step we must click on WLAN. A list of available Wi-Fi networks near the inverter is displayed. We click on the Wi-Fi network we want to connect to our inverter, and be careful as only HTTP Wi-Fi networks are supported, HP or HTTP networks are not valid. Click on the second password window, enter the password of the Wi-Fi network we have previously selected, and click on connect.
We confirm and wait for the configuration process to be completed, click confirm, and we will see that the connection between the inverter and the router changes to green. Physically, we can see on the inverter that the WLAN LED will change to green, flashing for short intervals, on for 0.2 seconds and off for 0.2 seconds. The steps to follow will be, we access the Fusion SolarWare application, Two, at the bottom, we have to click on the Your option. WLAN Configuration. Three, we will choose the device that we want to modify its Wi-Fi network, which in this case will be FW Products as it is an inverter. Four, in this step we have two ways to follow. A, scan the QR code, which we can see on the identification label, which has the inverter itself on the right side. B. Manual connection, in which we will have to connect our mobile device to the Wi-Fi of the inverter. Via A. Click on the connect option. The camera will open to scan the QR code. Or barcode of our Huawei inverter. The QR code is located on the sticker on the right side of the inverter. Once scanned, the cell phone will connect to the Wi-Fi network of our inverter. In this step, we must enter the user password provided by our installer. In case it has not been enabled, we must set our own user password. Once it has been set or entered, as the case may be, the router connection settings option opens. In this step, click on WLAN. A list of the available Wi-Fi networks near our inverter is displayed. We click on the Wi-Fi network to which we want to connect our inverter. We must be careful as only 2 to 4 GHz Wi-Fi networks are supported. Click on the second password window. Enter the password of the Wi-Fi network we have previously selected and click connect. We confirm and wait for the configuration process to be performed. Click confirm and we will see how the inverter and router connection changes to green. Physically, we can see on the inverter that the WLAN net will change to flashing green for short intervals, on for 0.2 seconds and off for 0.2 seconds. Path A to B. We click on WLAN manual connection and configure the current LAN of our mobile device. We choose the device we want to modify, its Wi-Fi network, which in this case will be FW products as it is an inverter. As you can see, we must connect to the WLAN network of the inverter which will start with SAN MIL. Click on configure, activate our Wi-Fi and look for the SAN MIL network. Click on it and wait for it to connect. If it asks for a password, it will be Chinmi, C-H-A-N-G-E-M-E. -E. Go back and click on connect. In this step, we must enter the user password that our installer has given us. In case it has not been enabled, we must set our own user password. Once set or entered, as the case may be, you will see that you will see the Router Connection Settings option opens. In this step, we must click. Under WLAN, a list of available Wi-Fi networks near our inverter is displayed. We click on the Wi-Fi network we want to connect to our inverter, and be careful as only the Wi-Fi networks of the previously selected Wi-Fi network are supported. Of the Wi-Fi network we have previously selected, and click on Connect.
Confirm and wait for the configuration process to be completed. Press confirm and we will see that the connection between the inverter and the router changes to green. Physically, we can see in the inverter that the WLAN LED will change to green, flashing for short intervals, on for 0.2 seconds and off for 0.2 seconds. The steps to follow will be, we access the Fusil Solar Web application. At the bottom, click on the job option. To start the service of the device. We choose the device that we want to modify its Wi-Fi network, which in this case will be FW products as it is an inverter. 4. In this step we have two ways to follow. 8. Scan the QR code, which we can see on the identification label on the inverter itself on the right side. B. Manual connection, in which we will have to connect our mobile device to the inverter's Wi-Fi. Via 8. Click on the connect option, which will open the camera to scan the QR code or barcode of our Huawei inverter. The QR code is located on the sticker on the right side of the inverter. Once scanned, the cell phone will connect to the Wi-Fi network of our inverter. In this case we must enter the installer password. Once entered, a menu with several options will open. We must go to the settings option. Click on communication settings. Router connection settings. The router connection settings option opens. In this step we must click on WLAN. A list of available Wi-Fi networks near the inverter is displayed. We click on the Wi-Fi network to which we want to connect our inverter. We must be careful as only Wi-Fi networks of 2.4 GHz are supported. Click on the second password window. We enter the password of the Wi-Fi network we have previously selected and click on. Connect. We confirm and wait for the configuration process to be performed. Click confirm and we will see how the connection between the inverter and the router changes to green. Physically we can observe on the inverter that the WLAN LED will change to flashing green for short intervals, on for 0.2 seconds and off for 0.2 seconds. Way B. We click on WLAN manual connection and configure the current LAN of our mobile device. We choose the device we want to modify, its Wi-Fi network, which in this case will be FW products as it is an inverter. As you can see, we must connect to the WLAN network of the inverter which will start with Sandy OSMIL. We click on configure, activate our Wi-Fi and look for the Sandy OSMIL network. Click on it and wait for it to connect. If it asks for a password, it will be changing, C-H-N-N-G-E-M-E. We go back and click connect. In this case we must enter the installer password. Once introduced, we will observe that a menu with several options opens. We must go to the settings option. Click on communication settings, router connection settings. We observe that we are opened. The option router connection settings. In this step we must click on WLAN. A list of the available Wi-Fi networks near our inverter is displayed. 
We click on the Wi-Fi network we want to connect to our inverter and be careful as only 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi networks are supported, 5 GHz or 5G networks are not valid. We click on the second password window, enter the password of the Wi-Fi network we have previously selected and click on connect. We confirm and wait for the configuration process to be completed, click confirm and we will see that the connection between the inverter and the router changes to green. Physically we can see in the inverter that the WLAN LED will change to green, flashing for short intervals, on for 0.2 seconds and off for 0.2 seconds. Visit us at elimacenterphotovoltaico.com and if you are a professional you can enjoy special prices on all your orders, we are waiting for you.